Okay, hi. I'm going to show you today how we use a um, how we use a step motor to um, and the Arduino using a thing called Snap for Arduino. So this step motor was um, taken from a printer, I think. Um, quick look at it. That's back a step motor, and it goes around there. So the way step motors work is. They've essentially, they've got four um, magnets inside them, and it's kind of turning magnets on and magnets off, and um, and going on a cycle. So one goes on, the others go off. Two goes on, the others go off. Three goes on, the others go off. Four goes on, the others go off. And the bar inside just um, turns round to um, connect to each one. Uh, this is a um, bipolar. Um, bipolar step motor. So it's got four wires coming from it. Um, if you use a multimeter, in this case, the yellow and the white wires, they've got a connection between them. So you can just test that the multimeter and you should see a connection, a circuit. The orange and the black wires, again, they're also connected, so the opposite. So this is motor one and motor um, three, that's two and four. This is a Pololu um, motor driver. It's got a H bridge in, so it just allows you to reverse polarities um, on the magnets um, and normal Arduino. So the program I'm using is called Snap for Arduino. It's just a modified form of, um, of Scratch. So what's happening is essentially um, this first step, it turns magnet one on. The polarity and that pin nine gives that magnet one power. Pin ten gives magnets um, two and four no power. It then goes to the next magnet round, gives that polarity, gives it power, gives magnet one and three no power. False, opposite of true here. So that goes to magnet um, three, gives it polarity. Nine goes, gives it power. And then four, true and false, two and four, turns them on. So it's just cycling around two trues, two falses, and the magnet just turns around and around. So if I press space bar now, and then go to the video, you should be able to see. There we go. And it's very slowly turning it um, turning it around there. Now, if I then go back to my program and then stop everything. So if I press B, I can then, that gives it no power to any of the magnets. So if I just turn that around now, you should be able to see me quite easily able to, to turn around the gears gears to run really easily, hardly any pressure, and it goes round like so. That's easy. But then if I go back to my Snap for Arduino program and I press A, that's now giving one of the magnets some power, which means it should be a little bit harder for me to, not impossible, but a little bit harder. See, I'm giving that some turn there and it's not really turning. Obviously I can turn it a bit more effort, but not really that much, um, need much more power. Okay, that's quite difficult to turn around. So that's the holding power of a step motor. The holding power is really important, really useful. Um, so if we go back to step Arduino now, if I make the time a little bit faster, so 0 0.05, I'm, that, that's gonna go around really quickly, it should work. Oh, press green flag, press space bar. That might have been a little bit too. Oh, that's because I didn't put there 0 0.008. Press green flag. Go back to the video recording, which is just here. And it's spinning around really quickly there. And that is step motors. Um, thank you for watching. Um, bye.